Hi Aries, this will happen in the next 48 hours for February the 13th through February the 14th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for February the 13th through February the 14th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for February the 13th through February the 14th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for February the 13th through February the 14th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Aries. You guys, subscribe to my new channel, Omega333 Tarot. That's Omega333 Tarot. Thank you for your support. These are your cards, Aries. Aries, you have the five of wands. Aries, Leora Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to you being conflicted within about something. So Aries, you can tell me that you're conflicted within about something or some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama has taken place here. Clarify the five of wands for Aries. Clarify the five of wands for Aries. Clarify the five of wands for Aries. Okay. It is clarified with the high priestess. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets. Keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for you to use your intuition. But you may know something that you're keeping to yourself. Now the high priestess keeps silent. So it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. So Aries, you can tell me that you guys aren't speaking. You can tell me that you're using your intuition. Or you have a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Aries. Clarify the high priestess for Aries. Clarify the high priestess for Aries. It is clarified with the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing, mothering energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. For Aries, clarify the Queen of Pentacles. For Aries, clarify the Queen of Pentacles. For Aries, it is clarified with the Four of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coin, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So Aries, you can tell me that you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. You can tell me that you're holding on to your coin, saving your money, being stingy, or you're keeping something close to your chest here. Aries, you can tell me that you're conflicted within concerning your coins here, maybe having to penny pinch or save or, you know, just keep your coins here. Could be something going on with work or business. Could be telling you to save your money, using your intuition to save your money here. Aries, you can be dealing with this, this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a wife or a parent of your child here. And you guys may have gotten into some type of heated discussion or argument. And you're closed off to them. You're not speaking to them. Hmm. Aries, you have the hermit. 
could be dealing with a Virgo. But right now, you're taking some time out to be alone, to do some soul searching, introspection, searching your inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need some me time. You can tell me that you're doing some heavy duty soul searching, or you went on a solo search looking for something. Clarify the hermit for Aries. Clarify the hermit for Aries. Clarify the hermit for Aries. It is clarified with the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a 10, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. So Aries, you're feeling a sense of betrayal, let down, and devastation here. However, in tarot, 10s are ending, so you could be coming up out of feeling a sense of betrayal. Aries, I feel like someone betrayed you dealing with your coins here, and you're saying, you know what, I just need to be by myself, I need to think about this thing. Or it's your partner who calls you this sense of betrayal. And you're like, I'm just, I just want to be alone. I just, I'm closed off here. You know, it could have been an actual betrayal over something we'll see. Or it was something that was said in an argument. Aries, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy. So Aries, this can be about your money, assets, resources, abundance. Very well could be that someone has commitment on the brain. But in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Clarify the ten of pentacles for Aries. Clarify the ten of pentacles for Aries. Clarify the ten of pentacles for Aries. It is clarified with the nine of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you being anxious, worried, stressed. Replaying things over and over in your mind. Losing sleep at night. Worried about something. So Aries, you're all up in your head. Stressed, worried, anxious. Can't eat, can't sleep. Bothered by something here. So Aries, you're all up in your head. Stressing over maybe your finances, your coins here, Aries. Or you're stressed about this commitment that you have with this person. And maybe ending this commitment. Because you feel like you're kind of closed off. They cause your sense of betrayal and you just want to be by yourself. You're thinking long and hard about this betrayal here. Aries, you have the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo. But the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. Could be dealing with a Leo. But you can tell me that you're happy. You want to be happy. You're over the moon. Or something was illuminated. Something came to light. Clarify the sun for Aries. Clarify the sun for Aries. Clarify the sun. Okay. Closer to you, baby. Clarify the sun for Aries. Clarify the sun for Aries. Clarify the sun for Aries. It is clarified with the hangman. Could be dealing with a Pisces. But the hangman signifies that the relationship is stagnant right now. It's suspended in the air. There's no movement. But you may be beginning to change your perspective. Could be dealing with a Pisces. But you're telling me that you guys are stagnant. Something is hanging in the balance. However, you could be changing your perspective. Clarify the hangman for Aries. Clarify the hangman for Aries. Clarify the hangman for Aries. It is clarified with the chariots. Could be dealing with a cancer, but you're determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But you're determined to move forward confidently. Could be dealing with a cancer, but you're wanting to make some type of move here, Aries. Clarify the chariot for Aries. Clarify the chariot 
by Aries. Clarify the chariot by Aries. It is clarified with the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus. But the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. Could be dealing with a Taurus. You, could, you guys may be in a commitment. Someone may have commitment on the brain. This can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences or values. Clarify the Hierophant by Aries. Clarify the Hierophant by Aries. Clarify the Hierophant by Aries. It is clarified with the Two of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is you being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? So Aries, you're at a crossroads, needing to decide, needing to pick a path here. Aries, you can tell me something was illuminated, something came to light, you know, that caused you to go at a standstill here. And you're at a crossroads on whether to move forward in you guys' commitment, to move forward with forgiveness, or to move forward with some type of institution, organization, governmental agency here. I feel like you're having to make this decision. You're in your head about your coins dealing with this institution. Or you're in your head about this commitment here. Whether or not to forgive and move forward with this commitment after some type of betrayal. So you're conflicted within needing to make a decision. But for the time being, you're kind of closed off to yourself in your head about it. Aries, you have the king of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. Could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this king of swords, coming forth with truthful communication, or making a decision. Clarify the king of swords. But Aries, clarify the King of Swords. But Aries, clarify the King of Swords. But Aries, it is clarified with the world. So you may be at a distance from your partner, either emotionally or physically at a distance. You may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle, closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So Aries, you can tell me that there's distance between you guys, emotional distance, a geographical distance. You can tell me that a cycle is closing out completely or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world for Aries. Clarify the world for Aries. Clarify the world for Aries. It is clarified with the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So Aries, you can tell me you have the spark of a new idea. Could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. Now, Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're making a decision to go back around again and start this passionate new beginning because maybe you caused this betrayal and you had a chance to think about it, okay? You can tell me that you have to decide whether or not to close out this cycle because they started a passionate new beginning somewhere else. Something was illuminated. Very well could have been the betrayal that they started a passionate new beginning with someone else. You could also tell me that you're having to make a decision on whether or not to go back around again and start a passionate new beginning with this person. You can also tell me that you're closing out this cycle and making a decision to do so because you guys had this heated discussion or argument with one another here. And again, this can be over your coins, Aries, or about some type of commitment here. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Aries. This is just additional messages here. You guys, subscribe to my new channel, Omega333 Tarot. 
That's Omega 333 Tarot. Thank you. And it says realization, awareness, finding out, coming to light. Realization, awareness, finding out, coming to light. Hmm. You're realizing something here. Aries. What else? For Aries. What else? For Aries. And it says pretending fake, living beyond means. Pretending fake, living beyond means. Goodness. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at her immortal majesty at gmail.com. Aries, this will happen in the next 48 hours for February the 13th through February the 14th, 2024. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at her immortal maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.